what's up everybody? Welcome back to the 31 Days of Horror. I am your host Moon616 and thank you once again for stopping in guys. Yeah, day 31 here on the 31 Days of Horror. So that means it is Halloween. So happy Halloween to everybody out there. And yes, I hope you guys had a great Halloween. Hope it was better than mine. Um, I spent 11 hours of it working and now I'm at home doing this review, but I'm tired <laughs> and I'm just not really enjoying it that much. It's a, kind of a shame. Um, I always find that Halloween is kind of bitter, kind of bittersweet because, you know, uh, it, it's, it's Halloween for one thing, but it also marks the end of the whole Halloween, you know, kind of season type deal. You know, this whole 31 days thing that we do and stuff. And November 1st is just another boring day, you know, it's just it's kind of sad and stuff, but Anyways, I'm I'm rambling on and stuff. As you guys can see, I'm wearing my Halloween shirt that I've rocked, I think, for the last five years here on YouTube. It's the only Halloween shirt I have. So God, I I've got to I've got to upgrade someday. But anyways, guys, for the film I chose here is uh another film from 1991. Oddly enough, this is the third film from the 31 Days of Horror series that is I've reviewed from the year 1991. Now, how does that happen? purely by coincidence. I reviewed Highway to Hell and I also reviewed The Resurrected. And this one right here, I actually have a funny, funny story with this film. But I'll, I'll tell you guys the name of it. Well, you guys could probably tell by the, the, the header anyways. But anyways, so 1991, Haunted Ween. Uh, but yeah, I got a funny story with this film. Um, when I first seen this film way back in the day, it was probably 92, 93. And it was on a VHS, it was on a dubbed VHS tape. And someone had wrote the wrong title on the film and it was called Haunted Treat. And for so long, for so many years, I was looking to find this movie called Haunted Treat because I couldn't quite remember the movie that much. I just remember certain things from I obviously didn't remember the headers and stuff, but I always knew this movie as Haunted Treat. So I'm looking for it and looking for it. And after doing a bunch of research and stuff, I came to the conclusion that the film I was looking for was actually titled Haunted Ween. Um, so about five years ago, I heard that the director was actually putting out a 20th anniversary edition of this film. So, so I jumped all over that. I had to grab this and stuff. And revisiting it was just like, ah, oh, this is why I love this movie. It's just, it's crazy. But I always thought this movie was called Haunted Treat for like the longest time. Those damn dubbed VHS tapes. And I, like, I don't know who wrote on there. It was like one of my buddy's friend's tapes or something like that. I can't remember the whole story with it, but they dubbed it Haunted Treat. And it fucked me for like 20 years. <laughs> um... But anyways, getting into the synopsis of, of Haunted Ween, uh, basically it kind of tells your backstory of this character named Eddie. Uh, he works at his family's haunted house attraction. Uh, it's kind of like this local thing that where everyone goes to on Halloween and things like that. And it's, you know, it's just a haunted house. And anyways, this one particular Halloween, something very, very bad happens with him and this little girl and stuff. This little girl ends up dead. So his mom kind of moves him out of the house and they kind of move to like, I don't know, like out in the forest or whatever it is. And then it jumps to 20 years later and it starts following this group of people from this fraternity. And they kind of get this letter where they they ultimately have to pay like $3,700 in, it's almost like union dues, but it's uh, in like uh, fraternity dues to basically keep their fraternity going. So if they don't pay up these dues, they're going to be deemed no longer an eligible fraternity and stuff and they're going to collapse and all that type of stuff. So, so anyways... So, by chance, Eddie finds out about this. He gives one of the members a key to the old, uh, the old family house and stuff. And he tells him, he's like, you know what you guys should do? You guys should host a haunted house attraction uh, to raise the money and things like that. And that's what they go ahead and do. And, of course, Eddie shows up and starts picking off people for real one by one. And that's your synopsis to the film. Now, my thoughts on this one. This movie right here is one of those films that perfectly slides itself into that category of so bad it's good. I love this movie, man. It's such a it's such a bad but f hilariously fun movie, man. It's really fun. The opening sequence is really awesome with Eddie and this girl and stuff. It's all done pretty cheesy, low budget and stuff. But then when it jumps into like the the meat of the film, like kind of like the core of the film, it it feels like this 80s sex comedy, you know, this fraternity kind of comedy sex thing that's going on and stuff with all these characters, because that's all they're doing, they're just fraternity people, they're drinking, you know, they're smoking, they're, they're 
beer bonging all the time and there's titties everywhere and shit like that. And it doesn't really feel much of a horror film for like that whole middle part of the film until about the last 30, 35 minutes when they actually build this haunted attraction and uh, you know, they start to host it and stuff. And Eddie goes ape shit and, and, and it kind of turns into like blood sucking freaks a little bit. You know, it's like, you know, all these people are just kind of cheering on the killer and stuff and like, no, he's doing it for real and things like that. It's totally awesome. But you know, the effects and stuff are pretty cheesy, like, but they're awesome, man. There's one really awesome decapitation and stuff, but you know, the body count actually starts to mount quite a bit in this film. Uh, it's pretty awesome and stuff, but you know, like the overall film is just like such a mixed bag of like films. It just feels like it's two in one. You know, you got this 80s sex comedy in this like horror film, uh, which, which it kind of starts out as a slasher film because there's even one scene where before he gets to the haunted house where he actually kills this couple who conveniently enough are going skinny dipping and stuff. Just a perfect opportunity to, to knock off a couple, uh, to knock off a couple college co-eds, you know, right? Um, but pretty good stuff, though, man. This movie is just filled with, like, really bad clothing, terrible music, really bad dialogue and stuff. Actually, some of the lines in this film are just hilarious. Oddly enough, it's not even acted that bad. I mean, the acting is, you know, it's bad, but it's, like, not the worst you've ever seen, you know, to be honest. There's a really good documentary on here, a 45-minute making of documentary and stuff, and it kind of really gets into... Um, you know, all the fun that they had making this, you know, the good times and the bad times and stuff, the ups and downs and stuff. Um, you know, if you do decide to grab this film, definitely check it out. It's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool watch this stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just a low budget mess. You know, it's just, it's super, super fun, man. I, I mean, honestly, it's pretty entertaining the last 35 minutes. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. Obviously, the killer kind of resembles Leatherface a little bit, wheeling a chainsaw and stuff. There's lots of, like random little decor around in the films and stuff. There's this awesome pumpkin head standee that's in it. Um, there's all these cool posters and things like that around. And obviously the director was like a horror film fan, you know, you can tell by him just putting all that type of stuff into the film and stuff. But, um, but yeah, you know, I recommend this film, you know, for the people that like these low budget films that you can just sit around and have fun with by, by no means is this like a 9 or a 10 out of 10. It's it's definitely so far from that, but I'm going to give this film about a 6.5 out of 10 because I really enjoy this one just for its dumb, stupid fun. I, I think everything about it is just a blast. You know, it's ridiculous. Got this one character in this film, and he has this most fucked up, like, he's obviously putting on a voice, but it's done in like a southern accent too. It's just... It, the combination of the two is just so strange when you hear him talk. It's just like, I don't know, he just kind of sticks out. It's like really terrible acting, but it's kind of entertaining at the same time. Um, but of course, yeah, like I said, it does have his titties and stuff like that. So, you know, you're going to get that in this type of film, which is pretty awesome. But uh, but yeah, I recommend Haunted Wee Man. Check it out. You know, it's, it's bad, but it's fun. And um, yeah, that is going to do it here for Day 31 and the entire... 31 Days of Horror series, which I had a lot, a lot of fun doing it again this year. I, this is the second year in a row I've done it. And, uh, you know, it's it's kind of a challenge to do, to be honest. I mean, because you have to watch and make videos every single day. But it is a lot of fun. And it just kind of reminds myself of, you know, when I'm done this, like how much fun I actually had throughout the month. I mean, it never actually felt like a job, but, you know... At the same time, I do want to get back to making other videos like the Top 10 Tuesdays and things like that too. So, um, but yeah, with that said, guys, I hope you guys had fun. Uh, let me know um, if you guys had fun with the 31 Days of 4, if I should bring it back next year. Um, it's not like it's my idea. I mean, everyone does the 31 Days, but uh, maybe I'll theme it out next year or something like that. Throw me some ideas or whatever. But, um, but yeah, that's going to conclude it, man. Haunted Ween, give it a shot. It's pretty fun. And... As usual, guys, peace!